Holly. So if you're sitting at home, you are probably thinking a lot, a lot more than you used to do. You're probably wondering, well, when, when is this whole thing going to end? Uh, if you're watching this in 2020, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, two, how many different color sweatshirts does Trevor Noah own? And three, um, what does the A&W and A&W stand for? Well, I can answer one of those questions. Uh, and the reason I thought about talking about A&W for the Memorial Day holiday uh, is because it's a really great place to go and easily, safely get a burger, some fries, and an A&W root beer float, which is kind of fun. So the A&W actually stands for Roy Allen and Frank Wright. So there you go. That's all it is. And it was actually founded in 1919. So 101 years ago is when A&W started as two little root beer stands. Uh, and what they did is, uh, Allen and Wright decided to join together and made the first A&W root beer restaurant, which is kind of cool. These glasses here are family members of mine found. Uh, we're going through some stuff. Some people call it junk. I call it treasures. These are pretty cool. Uh, these mugs here are original from uh, the 1960s. Uh, this um, one here is from 1961. And this one, even though it looks a lot more modern and more familiar today, is actually from 1968. Um, which is pretty cool. And this root beer is uh, amazing no matter what year it is. So there you go. Even though these two guys started as just a regular old root beer stand, they started to franchise in 1925. And then uh, where they really blew up, which is another reason why I wanted to feature A&W on Memorial Day, is after World War II. Because after World War II, uh, there was the GI Bill, which gave a lot of uh, people opportunities to start their own franchises. So they grew into about 450 franchises, which is pretty amazing. So it kept expanding and expanding, and then it went international in 1956. Jumped over the border to Winnipeg, uh, Canada, or actually my family's from that area there, and then kept expanding the decade after that. In 1963, they went over to Asia. So they had restaurants open in Malaysia, Philippines and Okinawa, Japan. So those guys know the beauty of root beer float as well. So it's not just an Americana thing, it is now an international treat. And in 1971, they started bottling this stuff and it's pretty amazing. So there you go, over a thousand restaurants now. Yeah, they probably even more, but yeah, very, very good and a fun place to go and eat and enjoy. So, uh, you can see this one here, they recently remodeled it. They have that guy sitting on top of the roof. It's pretty fun. I don't know for their little bear mascot too. He's pretty cute as well. So yeah, I wonder if they, I wonder if they'll get a bear eventually. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be fun. So enjoy your holiday. Uh, maybe do a little drive in, support your uh, local franchise and get yourself a little a &W root beer float. So you know, uh, your host here used to work at that little A and W during college, and I know how to make the little, the little ice cream loopy thing on on the root beer float. I know you're jealous. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one. Enjoy your holiday. Enjoy your root beer. Take care. Bye.